What up, world? It's the Big Fact Show. It's your boy, Mark Waldo Ward. I've got an artist, I've, a special guest, an artist I've been listening to for well over a decade. Uh, the first person I ever heard from Alabama uh, used to be KD205, now Daniel Payne. How you doing today, sir? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How about you, man? Man, I'm hanging in. Man, matter of fact, I'm having a really good day because when I found out we were going to be doing doing this uh, podcast today, I went and checked out your Spotify and you just released a, the 4 EP, which is yeah. just, just phenomenal. I'm blown away by it. I listened to, to it, it, it all over and over. Now, now please forgive me because I don't remember the song names. What, what what's, yeah. the, what's the song talking about the police shooting? Uh, Emantic. Man, that that was I've never really heard a song put together like that. It it it, it, it was it you know they it's cliche when they say it's some cinematic or it's like a movie, but I mean yeah. like like it really was how the the audio from the press conference and I assume that was a family member's response. Like yeah. like it it really told the story as well as you know how how your lyrics told the story. Oh yeah 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 appreciate that man. I just wanted to bring more light to the to the situation that happened. You know what I mean? In Birmingham, you know, where I'm from. So I just wanted to bring more light to it, you know, in, in case people had forgot about it. You know what I mean? Ironically, this is the third podcast I did in a row with somebody from Birmingham. But, uh, you know, it, since since that, that, that's your goal, go ahead, brother. Shed some light. I never heard that story before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was it happened on Thanksgiving or well, Black Friday two years ago. Um, the Manti Breath, he was in the mall. You know, a fight had broke out. He, from what I hear, he might have been with somebody there or he might not have even been a part of the fight at all. But uh, somebody, the police thought they saw him with a gun, which, you know, I think he did have when he was licensed trying to protect himself. So people started shooting out there. And he, he wasn't a shooter or whatever. And he got shot in the back of the head trying to run away from the scene. So I had to, I had to, you know, bring some light to it, you know, because it was the anniversary of Black Friday. So I brought some light to it and wanted to, you know, put people back on it and make it clear because I think they're doing something else with the with the case or something like that. So I just wanted to bring some more light to it. You know what I mean? And you know, another thing I, I noticed you said you mentioned Bull Connor in the song. I don't think a lot of people are familiar with who that is. H how would you explain him to to somebody who didn't know? Yeah, yeah, that's a little Birmingham history. So uh, back in the in the like the, the he, back, he was, back he was the, terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was the sheriff in Jefferson County, or you know, the police chief of Birmingham one. You know, and he would yo he was the main one. If you see the the time, a matter of fact, I got it on my wall right here. Um, let me see, I can see it in Birmingham where they spraying the that's it right there where they spraying the water hose on the on the demonstrators. Yeah. That's cool. We did that, you know. I got the art from Birmingham and other places, you know, on my wall and shit. Yeah, he, he was the one who what, what, he he was the one who uh, had Martin Luther King Jr. arrested, right? Yeah, yeah, he was the one who put Martin Luther King in jail. Um, Famous letter from, from from Birmingham jail. Yeah, 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 for sure. He, that's the same dude. So I was like, it's like modern day that you know what I'm saying from he, from the how they have this. So I just tried to draw that comparison. You know, while so, we giving him his poisonous flowers, uh, his use of um, prisoners for a workforce was just as as bad as anything that happened in a concentration camp as far as forced labor. Yeah, 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 for real. That too, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, all around, he was just an individual that, that lived in, you know, negative infamy, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, modern day, he, he was just... Kind of, I ain't gonna call him Hitler. I ain't gonna give him that much credit, but he was, he was fucked up, you know, in Birmingham. So, you know, I had, I had to put that in there so people can go back and see what, you know, what I'm saying, bring light to that, you know, that it still goes on today. You feel me? Now, 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 let's let's flip it around to something more positive than, than that bullshit, motherfucker. You, the first song on there, and like again, forgive me for the names. I'll be going by like. Number one, the the, the one yeah, yeah, part yeah. about the subject, but uh, the the song about your daughter that that that, that was very moving. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For was sure, that was man. that you singing? Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people don't know I sing on all my shit. Like I from day one, I, I mean, I have might have somebody come on there and guess every blue moon, but but that was you singing. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. Because, because you know, since I, I learned you as KD, I always think of KD first, but it's Daniel Payne, ladies and gentlemen. In my head, I was like, damn, damn, KD done dropped some money on a singer. This dude sound good. Oh, no, no, no. It's me. I on All my songs from day one, from my first project, I've always been singing. I might have somebody coming there and do it, but 95% of the time, it's me singing, you know, unless it's a female voice, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then the 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 last song where you talked about your career yeah that that, that was some poignant shit um, yeah yeah I, I like to touch on a couple of things about that but can you elaborate on how you feel staying in your hometown held you back i mean it was like um i mean where i'm from is alabama so it's not no uh no industry there you know what i'm saying so it ain't no industry. So I I ain't going to say I was the first one. I'm never the first. It was a lot of people came before me. Dirty. But, shout out Dirty. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But just coming out of there and just really trying to grind from Birmingham was uh, was different. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I was trying to do it on the internet, you know, trying to change with the time. And um, I can say a lot, you know, because it wasn't a lot of people where I'm from that did that made it in music you get a lot of pushback they want to see you know but it's the same in every city i feel like houston you know i mean houston now it's the same wherever unless you well the thing you said that was real interesting to me you 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 said about how since they know you not not they take you for granted but you know they're less likely to contribute like they want free cds i mean and you didn't say it in so many words but i I know what you mean like it's like hey hook me up hook me up one of them shirts you know, yeah, yeah, I, I think. But, but line, if you I mean, was if you was like a fan, met, meet you in in any other city, they're like, damn man, how can I buy one of those shirts? Yeah, yeah, that's exact. That's exactly so. Like, I think the line I had was, um, when you're at home, they don't see you the same way as people see you outside. So, people outside of Alabama, like I was, you know, making noise, like they was fucking with. But back home, they don't see you as they because they grew up with you, like. These people was in your, uh, live down the street from you, it was in your fourth grade class, you know what I'm saying? So they, they see you like, man, this nigga, he, what, who is he? I, we, I, he ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? So they were like, we ain't gonna salute him, you know what I mean? It's a lot of hate. I mean, if you see it with other rappers, like somebody like Nipsey Hussle got killed in his home, on home, right where he was at, you know, because they just don't see you as being the king or the, or whatever you are is people outside see you so i think that that's part of it and it took a long time for me to um i wanted it so bad like i, I want that i want them to, to give me my flowers to give me my you know sh- sh- acknowledge that but you know you gotta let that go and just focus on the you know the people that's bringing you in the money so i took a step back from that you know what i'm saying so but yeah, that that's to sum that up. That's what that is. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think it happened to a lot of folks. No matter if you playing ball, if you you know if you were going to school and you doing something different from what everybody else doing, and you trying to come up out of wherever you at, it's gonna be hate and it's gonna be you know people that it's the public workout principle, bro. If you if you go outside and start working out in front of people who ain't never seen you do that before, they're gonna start making fun of you. But in reality, yeah. you're doing the most positive thing out there. Yeah, 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 really. You know what I'm saying? Another yeah, thing you said really- in that, I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me, but no, another thing you said in that song was that you had a, a couple flirtations with major labels, but they wanted to change you. Yeah. Or, or, or maybe not change you, but change your music. Uh, because I mean, I'm, I, I know there's no way in fuck somebody was talking to you trying to get you to, you know, put on the proverbial shiny sh- suit. So, in what manner were they trying to change you? Yeah, yeah. I, I could say this when I like, um, this had to be like 2010. I had, I ain't gonna say the label, but I had a major label. Like people know they came to me, it was like, man, we love your music, but we want you to do the most amazing trap shit. We want you to talk bigger than G's and Ross. This is like when G's and Ross had popped off. Like we want you to talk bigger than that. What you doing, you got the talent, you got the music. It you could like, do it. You could for people who, who ain't familiar. You could do it too if you so. Yeah, try. yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do it. You know well, what I'm saying? And I tried it. I was getting beats from like platinum producers. You know that they were trying to do that. They were sending me this, 
trying to work them, trying to trying to see how it was going how it was going to end up. I mean, some of the songs came out cool, some of them didn't. But I think at the end of the day, it just went a good fit. So I kept grinding, and and right after I dropped Z Fluid, another huge label came. They were coming to all my shows. Um, the A&Rs, you know, they were, they were really pursuing me. And it was like, yeah, we, we got this one artist signed, but he likes suburban rap. You know, we want that gangster shit. We want that gangster shit. I was like, yeah, I, I get that. But I, I, I mix in, I mix in reality, you know, all that. So they, they, they wanted me to. Hey man, to, you know, you, you know, that just made me think of, or I, I just, I never thought before. Like yeah. they, they, you said, they told you they want that gangster shit. And then obviously, yeah. obviously these type of people don't know what gangster shit is. But right. how is gangster shit only just like being being a big time dope dealer or, 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 or you know, a drug kingpin, like going to work every day and, and never losing a fight is gangster shit. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like, I, I mean, and, that, and I was way. Or never running time. from a fight. Or, I mean, there's, there's, there's many elements of gangster shit that don't got shit with, to do with no fucking community genocide. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, and I agree with that one hundred percent. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's what I don't think they understand. They seeing it from a, a entertainment perspective. Maybe my mind went in that frame. I was seeing it from a reality perspective. Like, I can talk about that, but I'm gonna talk about the other side too, and I'm gonna talk about what people want to hear on a day to day basis, because everybody ain't living that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I mean yeah. That, that, that's why that's why they talk you know I, I always call it the they give you the good or all evils you know like you're gonna get this car and this mansion and all this other shit not you're gonna get this time this broken heart this this fucking bullshit ass parole probation i mean yeah. uh, 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 all the shit you deal with you know yeah yeah so and that and that's that's what they wanted to see they wanted me to talk about that but I'm gonna talk about both. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna talk about it all. So, so that's not I even like a conspiracy theory. That, that 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 that's some real shit. So so major record labels want to change artist material to selling drug shit. And you know, without saying anybody's name, you know, making a po an incredibly popular song where you say moving dope on the iPhone. That 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 kind of sounds like you know impressionable kids is gonna listen to that shit. Move dope on the iPhone. You know, like you know little moving grams little merchant shit and uh get nabbed the fuck up yeah 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 for and, sure and, I mean, and 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 fill them fill them profitable prison beds yeah 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 for sure and i, I don't think it's no conspiracy like the people who were coming to me with it you know uh they might not have known what was going on but they just they boss is telling them hey we need this and it's you know that shareholder shit too you know they got they got they, they can't think long term profit they got to do quarterly profits and yeah. it oftentimes controversy sells, and it's it's been proven that it's profitable to demonize the black man in American media. So they always yeah. know where the money is. Yeah, yeah, that's and that's what it is. So that's that was making the money at the time. So it's like, hey, that's what we gonna do. So I mean, but it's real though. It ain't no conspiracy shit. I mean, I can tell you that one hundred. Like it ain't. It's that shit real. Like how they, you know, what they want to do. I mean, so when I see it now. You know what they doing now? I say, oh, okay, that's what they doing. You know, what I mean, I feel it. I get what they doing now. You know what I'm saying? So now you kept pushing independent, and, and at what at one point you burnt, you frazzled out a little bit, and, and and took a step back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say, um, really, after I dropped, dropped Diary of a Trill Nigga, like that was like 2014. I was like, uh, I mean, I was kind of like, I I was still recording, and I dropped one more project in 2016 uh green acres but i moved out to houston and i was like you know i, I was just gonna see how can i you know how can i do where you at in houston? Part, huh where you at in houston and most city like out, out there in that area yeah yeah right yes. before right before I, I moved here i was i was out swat off westheimer okay okay yeah i, I used to stay off west time i used to stay right by the, the guy man, man the whole houston off westheimer that's the longest road i've ever seen in my motherfucking life man yeah 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 you yeah. go from like the edge of downtown, like mid Man, that shit go from like Mexico to motherfucking Alaska. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For real though, it go. Yeah, when you say West Time, and that could be all the way on the west side, or that could be, you know, what I'm saying close, close to downtown or something. Yeah, I was, I was over there by A Leaf, but yeah, 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 yeah. So you was down on the west, yeah. So when when you decided to get get back on it and, and change your name, 
what what did did you foresee how because you know people pay attention to you you know when you came back you definitely got a lot of interviews and all that stuff did did you yeah. foresee getting annoyed at, at people asking you why why you changed your name no nah, no nah, I, I wouldn't say annoyed because it was it's understandable you know they want to see like we know you from kd you didn't built the name from kd but i i kind of wanted to start from scratch you know what i'm saying and see and, i think that's a problem with with, with hip-hop media bro like you know, like, let's say, let's say, for instance, I've seen this, like, Freddie Gibbs does, like, a media session, right? And it's, like, 20 yeah. different outlets, and they all basically ask, like, the same nine questions, and then the, yeah. the, same, and the, the same interviews come out within, like, two weeks of each other, and it don't matter how much you like anybody, you, won't go, you ain't gonna want to hear, hear him answer the same eight questions, you know, 20 times in 10 days. Yeah, yeah, and I think they just get repetitive, they say, okay, this worked for him, where it might have been his team, like, hey, you know, this what we this what we want you to ask. You know what I'm saying. So either way, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it'd be the same shit over and over again. So I, I I like the interviews where they you know they ask you like like what you doing right here, ask asking them in depth questions like why is this, why is that that nobody that it could be unique to what you're doing. You know what I'm saying. Do you so, think yeah. people understand how much pay, like, because you, you did the independent thing the right way. Like, I know you got barcodes on all your shit. You were moving copies of everything, putting them in, in different locations. Do, do you yeah. think people understand how much paperwork and, and like, j j just, I guess, I, I don't even know the right word, uh, just time invested, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't think people do. That's why a lot of people want to sign a, a, a deal, because really, I, I look at it like, it's like you you selling chicken, fried chicken. Like you can go um, work for somebody and cook the chicken and do that, but actually owning the business, you know what I'm saying? It's it's really like owning any other business. You get your you get your uh your tax ID, you know what I'm saying? You get all that other stuff right where you can do your taxes, write it off. You know what I'm saying? You can get if you want to get a loan, you can do that. If you want to, uh, it's just like running any other business. You know what I'm saying? making sure every little thing is uh is in line. It took me a while to to really understand that, you know what I'm saying? Um, but so I understand why somebody want to get a deal. You just you would be what? An employee, just like you working at, you know, wherever. You feel me? It's less so mental energy. Different. Say what? It's less mental energy. Yeah, yeah, less mental energy. You know what I'm saying? You somebody else making the calls for you. You don't have to make the call. You know what I'm saying. But but you was doing all that and having to create the music. Yeah yeah yeah. I got, but I had a, a team. You know, um, a lot of folks around me. It was you know being a and r's making calls too. I mean you had, you had, you had burn one. That's a, that's that's a great person to have in your corner. Oh yeah yeah for sure burn one day one. You know what I'm saying. From the first song I put out. You know what I mean. He 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 was fucking with me since then. Matter of fact, we got a whole. I'm, I, this series of EPs, me and him, we got one coming next called a five EP. So I, I did the third coast and the four EP, and we got five points coming with him soon. You know what I mean? You, do you do you think people? You think he gets his just due for how, for just how musically talented he is? No, nah, no, nah, I don't think so yet. You know what I'm saying? Because like I almost think it's a it's a it's an injustice that he's known for being a mixtape DJ, even though he was such a great mixtape DJ because. I mean, yeah, you you know about him. That 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 man that man puts can put his foot in it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, not yet. I think he ain't just got that um just that that one thing yet. Because I mean, even with the mixtape shit, like for when Gucci did the verses and he played like three three songs off Chicken Talk, you heard Burn One in there, and people don't even know yeah. he was the one convinced Gucci to do. Mixtape, you know what I'm saying? It made pretty much made him what he is today, but with the production, you weren't you weren't around time. for that, were you? I I came on like right after he did that. So right after he did that, that's when me and Burn met, like probably a month or two after that. So yeah. that's what got me excited to work with him, because you know where I'm from, good that chicken talk was huge. You know what I'm saying? Me too, bro. You, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm from the D.C. area. You know, we love we love Gucci, man. Gucci, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like way, way before everyone else did, you know. I mean, not, yeah, not, yeah. not, not like Atlanta, but, you you, you, you know, D.C. be ahead, ahead of most other places for the sun and shit. Yeah, yeah, D.C., they love underground shit, too. You know what I mean? Oh, bro, like, you know, in the 90s, we, we was listening to rap a lot hard. Like, you know, 
I, I was copping like nah shit, but I was copping like Fifth War Boys, you know, all, all that shit. Tila, you know. Where, yeah. But, but yeah, like, yeah. you know, you know, I go to like Philly or New York when nobody had no Fifth Ward or Tila tape. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because cause DC right on it's it's still southern, but it's you know what I mean it's closer to the, to the northeast too, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'll get all this shit. And it, it's a mix and part of everybody there too, you know what I mean? So yeah, I I, I feel that. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever uh was was you ever around the early stages of Yellow Wolf? Oh yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Because um one of them um I went on tour when Yellow Wolf he did the Trump mi music um mixtape. I went on the Trump music tour with him. So um so I got to see that whole thing, you know what I'm saying? I was watching them videos from that tour. It was a while ago though, but yeah, that that was cool to see that. I know he 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 blossomed into something totally different now. Which that's you know, what I was gonna exactly ask you. Was he like fucking around with the guitar and all that shit backstage? Nah, nah, nah. That was so. Me. so you did you even know that he did that? That that I mean, it's it, it's some a little more than rock and roll. And you, I don't never want to label nothing no rap rock because that's just like an insult. You feel me? That's how I got yeah. this kid shit. I never want to compare nobody to that. Not if I have respect for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he went. I I don't remember him doing it, but I know he was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Want to be like, uh, um, like a like merging like country and rock with with rap because that would expand his shit even further and get you know and put him in those other avenues. I know he wanted to do more than just be a rapper, but yeah, that was cool being around. That's that's when I was meeting you know what I'm saying labels and people was fucking with me at that time too. But yeah, because that's when I first when I was the second time I met Gucci. And, was where they we speaking about Gucci? It was was at a Yellow Wolf uh, video shoot. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a cool experience being around that. You know what I mean? Do you think Big Big Crit listens to your music? Oh yeah, yeah. I know, I know he do because um, see, people don't know. Like I know, I remember Big Crit. Me and Big Crit been cross paths since we was in high school. On my space, you feel what I'm saying? Gotcha. So we crossed paths back then when he had, because I had a song with the same, I, he had a song with that Bobby Womack sample. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And he had that, and both of us had the song at the same time. And um, he, he from Mississippi, I'm from Alabama. And we always talked about doing something. Matter of fact, I still got the Twitter DMs like from years ago. And we talked about doing something, but once he kind of took off, you know what I'm saying? It kind of just, you know, he was signed, so it was difficult. Matter of fact, I, I talked to him about a year ago about doing something new now that he independent. And you ain't got to worry about getting shit cleared and all that. So uh, maybe maybe we'll, I'll try to get him on, on something coming up, you know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah, you, know, so, all, you know, some of that new music you're making, that, that direction you're going, uh, it, it, Big Sant would sound good. You talk about the few times you do bring in somebody with a hook, but may, may, maybe yeah. like like to, har I mean, not harmonize with you, like like y'all singing like The Temptations, but you know. Okay, yeah, me and him got some. We got some, that was some years ago. That was like six, seven years ago when me and, me and, me and Big Sant dropped some. But yeah, uh, yeah, I might, I might try is to it okay if I play, Is it okay if I play that song at the end of this podcast? Do I have your permission? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. It's called All Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we uh we did that. So yeah, we... I, I I don't remember that, but I get I I, I know y'all go well together. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's on um Space Age Southern Playlistic, um Country Rap. I had a, I had a um a mixtape called that. Yeah, it's 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 out there. It's called All Right. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, 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 I'm 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 definitely gonna check for that. What who, you know you 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 have had a lot of uh you know, big name features and been, been on people's stuff. I, I, out of everyone you've collaborated with, who, who are you the most impressed with by what, what, what contribution they had to, to your song? Um, I probably have to say Freddie Gibbs because that song just like- Oh yeah, that jumps hard. Yeah. And, right. and just to see where, how he didn't elevate it to Grammy nominations now. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, that, that was probably hard too. And that's, that's, you know, on that G Fluid song. I mean, at the time, it was like 
it was like a no. I was like, okay, I ain't think too much of it. You know what I mean? I fought with Freddie, but he wasn't like where he is now. So both of us was, you know, grinding. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, that that's some that's some classic shit right there. You know what I mean? And I um, I might have to find a way and see if I can bring some more light to it now. You know what I'm saying? Just in case people forgot about it. You feel me? I say you you can uh put it on Spotify and then uh do that little promote on Instagram shit. Oh yeah, yeah, I might do that. I where might you get that, that where you get them guaranteed views, man. That probably run them numbers up. I mean, I know you got oh, the yeah. clearances and the rights. Yeah, yeah, I got the rights to it, but yeah, I ain't um since it uh when I was that, pro- that promoted post shit work. Oh yeah, yeah, it'll work. Yeah, it worked. It worked for sure. I just but at the time when when it dropped, I just I want to know how many how what type of numbers it did back then because back then it was it was the blog era all free downloads you know what i'm saying right so i know that shit did numbers back then you feel me so yeah i mean i don't know if you remember when i had drank and dank i i would never download y'all shit i would always say say i want one from you oh word okay yeah that's real that's real because i because i was like man man some of them blogs you know these people are still employed in the industry today they, they, they would tell artists they had to let, let them download it and they use that shit to run their numbers up then they get embraced into like a complex network or something and now some of these motherfuckers are record executives on the backs yeah. of, on the backs of some artists who didn't make it because they weren't making money from music and they had to go get a regular job and, and maybe yeah. this motherfucker hadn't stepped on, on on his back to get to where he was a great musician would still be with us as a great musician instead of somebody working at Walmart or some shit Hell yeah, you know what? I ain't never thought about it like that because it was so much spy music in the blog era, you feel me? Everybody and a lot of that shit, um, the, a lot of the artists not even around no more. A lot of dope shit because then, you know, it wasn't no sample clearances because that shit was all free. You know what I'm saying? So it was, yeah, that that was a five, five era in music. Some, some of like the big names now. In like some ways, like I like the SoundCloud era better though as far as because they empowered artists you know, oh yeah 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 the, the, the yeah. blog era didn't really i i don't feel too many artists really i mean some did obviously but i yeah. i i feel like it, it brought more vultures into the game yeah yeah I, w- I would say that yeah because you still got vultures like hey you trying to get on this blog this this and that you know it, it did do that i will now that motherfuckers didn't even have to get college degrees to go work for record companies all they had to do was demonstrate the ability to jerk artists at a high level for, for three or four years and they got a job yeah like that, right. that, 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 that shit was like an audition to like universal or warner like okay he good at getting artists to do what, what he say yeah yeah because the, the artists that do anything to get one of them blog posts you know what i'm saying if you, if you had the right blog you know i mean some yeah, bloggers yeah. places were in the right heart i ain't trying shit on all bloggers but yeah some fuck shit came through that yeah, yeah, yeah. It was some real ones, you know, but but like you said, it was a lot of them that were taking advantage of the artists, you know what I'm saying? Because that was pretty much the only way to get your shit out there at the time was through the blogs, you know what I'm saying? But streaming came along and now it's just another form of people, you know, fuck, <laughs> pretty much fucking the artists too. Yeah, with, pay, with paying to get on them playlists and shit, yup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just, they just flipped it, you know. And, I mean, if you get on the right one, though, you know. It, 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 at least, like, I, I felt like the blog, a lot of that shit was a waste of money, but yeah, yeah, the, the, the playlist, you, if, you're, if, you're, if you're a smart consumer, you, you, you can make a big difference. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean yeah, shit, yeah. if you had a plug to get on Rap Caviar, you, 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 you eating, you know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if yeah, you can you get on Rap right. Caviar for less than 150000 you'd be you'd be a fool not to. Yeah, 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 for real. Yeah, you got that one. It's a few other ones out there that's this, yeah, if you just get on them, you out of there. You know what I mean? Yeah, that little yeah, shit. Yeah. When, what's I forget, Oh, that Zane Lowe shit, man. If you can get on that show, man, you you eating for five years. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Yeah, that. But that's the thing. Like, it's all, it's all. It's, it's not all what money, you know. Right? It's who you know and how much you got. Yeah, yeah. How much you ready to break with them? You know what I'm saying? Some people still do it the organic way, but you know. <laughs> Uh, a lot of folks, you know what I mean? They they make more money off the off the shit than than the actual artists and shit do. You know what I mean? You you won't believe this, but sometimes uh, I live in Florida now. Uh, white people will approach me and say that uh, I, I, I'm a little too extra with it in, in a post racial society. And one and one of my 
one one of my immediate retorts is if 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 it's such a post racial society, why are black musicians still getting taken advantage of at the same rate they have always been? Yeah, 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 for real though, and that's what that's why the key is ownership. You know what I'm saying, folks like Nipsey. You know what I'm saying. He he tried to put it out there. It's like owning your shit. You know what I'm saying. Owning your masters and, and taking control of your shit. You know what I'm saying. So you so you minimize that shit. It's a marathon if you want to do it. That's why he put it out. It's a marathon. You know what I'm saying. It ain't no sprint. It's a, a lot war of, of attrition. Artists, war of attrition, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. A lot of folks ain't gonna last. So they they can't adapt to, you know what I mean? Cause I like I said, I started off passing shit out, selling shit hand to hand, and moved to the blog era, and moved to the to the to the I say the live mixtapes era. Now you had to come up with something to get it into the I went to the iTunes era. Now, now you got the streaming era. What is next? You know what I'm saying? So it's like you gotta you gotta be able to adapt to all that shit and still be able to to run your shit and be a smart businessman too. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that's that's the difference. Like a lot of artists, they be wanting the um the quick way, like, oh I'm finna be, I'm finna be all over these, all over these um sites. I'm finna be on on this radio show. I'm finna be hear my music, finna be on rap caviar. They just sign their whole life away and get and they don't even know what what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But in five years or something, they looking up like they don't own none of that shit. They gotta keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? Word. You know, I ain't gonna take up too much more of your time, but before we get out of here, you might be, other than myself, the biggest UGK fan, particularly uh, Pimp fan I ever met. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah I, I, I'd like to nerd out a little bit. What, what, what do you think of some of the deeper cuts of Pimp C that's underrated? Um, let me think about that. I, I, I'll lead off. I'll lead off for you. You know that Sleepy Brown album that he got like uh, four, four, I think at least four placements on, uh, production yeah. placements. Man, them shits is fucking incredible. There's only two Sleepy Brown albums, and it might be a group that has Sleepy Brown in it. You know, I'm, I might not be remembering this shit right, but but I mean, I mean, them shits was incredible. And then the, uh, the Master P, Silk the Shocker, I forgot what it, um, Down South Players. His, yeah. his, his verse on that was I don't think enough, I don't think enough people are aware of that. I think that's one of the great man. How that I know you know how that should go. If, if if I had enough room for the man, see I'm gonna fuck it up, but about the switch of sweets <laughs> and, and 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 you'd have to fill two two tractor trailers or some that shit. Is, yeah, yeah, I know, I know that I can't think of the exact line, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm a um I know that I know the song the downside players, players in the south stack. G, G. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, then I'm let me think. I was I know that Sleepy Brown too, still smoking, still drinking when I'm sitting. And he got the organ playing. I know it's Sleepy's theme. That's yeah, the name of the, uh, that's the name of the album. Yeah, he he they the same beat, I think is on a UGK song, but he flipped it and sang on it too. So I got matter of fact, um, but I'm gonna get, get back to that point, but the uh the UGK song or the Pimp C song I would say would be um it's a song it's a feature that he got a dude named Show I don't know I think he's from Louisiana maybe or Oklahoma somewhere next to Texas but it's a song called Blind and Can't See that's probably one of my favorite Pimp C verses of all time S H O is it S H O yeah that's it. I, I got that CD. Uh, I, 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 don't, I, I don't remember it specifically, but uh, I, I'll, I'll check that out. Yeah, yeah. Until, until they start releasing them posthuman shit, some them mass appeal records. To yeah. my knowledge, I, I got everything Pimp C's ever been on. A word, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of my favorites. And um, and I'm trying to think of one more. That one, that's probably one of my favorite verses. You know what I'm saying? Um... With us, uh, hey, keep, hey, keep going, brother. I'll be right back. All right, my other one would be damn, that's it. I'm trying to think of one more. Um, what you was talking about? Uh, it's one that ain't even on no shit. It's called he, he just singing the whole time. I want to put this one out there. Cause I know it's not on look, no look, streaming. Look, bro. 
Bankroll Jones, shit like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I see that. that. This whole book is all Pimp C. Oh, word, damn, the whole and, thing. And the whole thing filled. I even got, like, the Pimp and Ken album. Oh, shit, see, I ain't even heard that. I got to go hear that. I ain't know Pimp and Ken had an album. Man, that shit cost, like, $150, bro. Oh, word? Man, some of them shits is 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 rare. I mean, and they ain't worth mine. Ain't worth shit because I listen to them. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. If, if you don't open them shits, some shits be worth uh, some. Some of them be worth money like shit. And, oh, okay. uh, and they caught they caught some of them cost me a pretty penny. Like I remember that show record was uh like like twenty five, which oh, you know. Word. I mean that, that 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 ain't. I mean to me that's a lot for a CD. I mean I don't even buy CDs no more. That's why I don't got nothing. Yeah, yeah. Mass appeal, Jones. But you know. Yeah, that's some that's some collector shit though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah cause, cause some of them shits now don't make it to the internet. There's a bunch of pimp C shit that ain't on no streaming service or no mixtape site or nothing. Yeah, and that's that's the song I was gonna say is that it's a song called So Excited. And he just singing, you know. Um is that on the so Harris County excited. Jail Jump? Yeah, okay, it is on there. Yeah, it is on there. I know what you're talking about. That yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you know, they took them unfinished Jones and made that a lot of them made, made that first rap a lot album. Yeah, but this one didn't make it on there. I, think. I know I thought I, I thought a lot of them was better in that version. Like yeah, yeah. Man, somebody should put a vinyl out of that motherfucker and make some money. Hell yeah, yeah. That shit was hard though. And then um I was gonna say that I'm working on some shit kind of mixed between that song, like some Deb and shit, and that Sleepy Brown um album I, I got an r&b type album coming coming out too i it's pretty much recorded I just, i'm just getting it mixed and getting it ready to you know when i can drop it you feel me on on the r&b level you think pimp c had a good singing voice oh yeah 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 for sure you know as far as my singing you know it's like pimp Devin, sleepy brown those are the ones that you know kind of influence how, how i sing oh yeah what what what, what what's what's your favorite Devin song Devin, um, anything is plenty. Yeah, yeah, anything is plenty, man. Or I like, I like the, air, the airplane song. I mean, the first album is the best shit, and then like some of that face mob shit go go hard. But right now, I, I feel, feel so, so good. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. if they made a video of that and put it on MTV of that year, that motherfucker Devin would have been been way larger. Yeah, what way lot? That was a TRL days, bro. Man, yeah, yeah. What what motherfucking college white America would have ate that shit up? Hey, I still think if you if if Devin dropped right now, I still think he'd be huge. Like if he just came, if the same exact songs just dropped right now, I still think they'd be huge. You know, what I mean? and, and ain't been nobody like like I'll, I'll always be like, why has there not been another LL Cool J or another Devin the Dude? Those are both successful examples and since that is there's so many copycats instead of the 35th quavo copycat why don't, why don't you yeah. just get your ll cool j on and get your devin on because like regular yeah, motherfuckers yeah. like devin because he rap about because i mean you know i be trying to wear like little different hats for all my, all, all my things and shit and look fresh and shit but you know i it's it's I, i've worked at mcdonald's it's, it's times that my motherfucking paycheck didn't cover everything i needed you know yeah motherfuckers ain't always trying to listen to some shit about you drinking not and not, not, not that i'm hating but just if you yeah. eat some ramen noodles you don't necessarily want to hear, hear some shit about a motherfucker eating cereal out of bo out of a diamond bowl filled with champagne you know what i'm saying yeah yeah for real though you want to hear about which what you going through you know what i mean or something you can relate to or like yeah, a motivational right. jump like a step-by-step -step, you know yeah yeah for real though you know what i'm saying i think that's what the commercialization of, of rap then you know took that i mean it's still folks that do it you know what I'm saying? But the commercialization. You got to be good natured, though, man. Don't talk down to me. You know what I'm saying? I can't yeah, stand yeah, when, yeah. when they be making that music where it's like, your life could never be as good as mine. And I'm yeah, like, so yeah. what the fuck I want to hear that shit for then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you want to hear? It, unless you feeling up right then and you in that mood. But that, you know what I'm saying? It's, I mean, it's, like, it's like I, I ain't going to no that. NFL trial because I know I, I know my motherfucking feelings going to be hurt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Word. <laughs> yeah. And like, 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 I remember, like, I love, I used to love Ti. I still fuck with Ti, but I remember, like, right around the sixth or seventh album. I know I said this show on the show before, but the yeah. the one after Paper Trail when he had to stop being humble and shit, and, 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 and like the whole album, this man was just basically saying, like, no matter what, I could fuck your bitch. I will always make more money yeah, yeah, than yeah. you. 
Like, like just everything about it was like, you could never be better than me at anything. And yo, yeah. hey, shout out to him if he feel that way. Like, yeah, that's a wonderful way to be. But, yeah. but I don't want to listen to that shit. Cause then, so I'm just sitting there getting dressed like, damn, T.I. gonna look better than me today. I'm, yeah. I'm in my girl walking room, like, damn, T.I. could take my girl, but he don't want her. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's real though. That's real though. That's the real shit said right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I keep that in mind when I'm writing shit. You know what I'm saying? That what, what can somebody? That's why I always try to tell stories with my shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and tell it from from that perspective, because the average everyday person, this, everybody, like the shit what you just described they rapping about is the minority everybody else is the majority you know what i'm saying so if you want everybody else to relate to your shit but some people like to live in a fantasy they like to think you know what i'm saying that they doing all the shit they favorite rapper talk about and they want to imitate it but that ain't everybody you know what i'm saying the end of the night when they go home and they and instagram and they log out of instagram and shit they got to sit with they shit and that's the shit they're gonna listen to so when i when I drop songs like Emotions and, and on the full EP, that's what I tried to give them, you know what I'm saying? I tried to make, you know, this, this shit coming just from me, you know what I'm saying? But I keep that in mind that, okay, this would, everybody gonna feel what I'm saying because everything I'm rapping about somebody didn't experience before, you know what I'm saying? Man, that, I, I think that's a perfect place to end it, man. Everybody, make sure you go check out that 4EP. It's on Spotify, yeah. all, all streaming platforms. Yeah, yeah, all streaming platforms, you know what I mean? All right, and, and, and you, you, you got a, uh, I, I know you, you you got some really dope merch. Is, is that, is what's that? Is that on your band camp? What, 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 where should yeah, people yeah, go to buy there. your stuff? Yeah, this is the Purple Onion hoodie right here. Um, you can go to danielpain.store. And you can get it, you know what I mean. So it's it's on Bandcamp, but it's DanielPayne.store. P A Y N E. Yeah, yeah. P A Y N E. Daniel. P A Y N. See all of it. I'm I'm I I I. That's the same store I always had. That's so I, I switched it up from KD two hundred five, but so it's easy to go cop shit off of there. You know what I'm saying? So y'all go shop, and I got some more from the full EP. I'm finna upload soon. So uh, I'm going to get that uploaded now. I got some new shit off in the upload. So y'all yeah, be on the lookout for that too. And and go stream stream the new shit. Go to YouTube. Subscribe. You know, and uh, I got the Five Points uh, EP coming next. And, and I'm building up for a new album. I'm going to try to do this album. This uh, Everything I'm building up for is for this album that I'm going to drop. You know what I mean? And that's going to be, I'm going to try to make that like the, you know, the biggest shit I'd never drop. You feel me? Yeah, that, yeah. Man, we'll, we'll definitely be checking out for that. And I'll put a link to everything he's talking about in the description. Man, thank you for your time, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Same to you, man.